Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today what we're going to do, we're going to create a little program where we can lock and unlock a folder. So I'm just going to import a few things into here. So like import time is the first one. I might need OS, I'm not sure. So I'm going to import OS. Actually, I will need OS. Right, so I'm going to create a little menu here. And my menu is going to be called lock and unlock. Right, so we create entry here. This is a variable and assign it to input because we want some user input. We're going to give give the user uh, some choices. So the first one is to lock the folder. Choice number two is to unlock the folder. And choice, whoops, choice number three here is to exit program right so if entry is equal to one we're going to do something print locking folder And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to send it down to another function called lock folder. So I'm going to create another function here called lock folder. So let's just create that underneath. Fine. Lock folder. Now I've already got a folder on my desktop that we're going to use. And there's a file inside that, so we'll have a look in a minute. So we're going to go down onto lock folder. Let's have a look now, see what it is. So I've called it X, and inside X we've got a text document, just as an example. So let's go back to this. So what we want to do, we want to do the path to X. So I'm going to call it folder path. And my folder path to this is C users mark desktop and X yep X it is okay so that's the path to my folder it won't be the path to your folder so what you need to do you need to create a folder on your desktop and get your own unique desktop path. Right, we're going to create another variable now called lock folder. I'm going to assign this to I C A C L S. It's kind of like a locking protocol that uh, is built into the system. And then we're going to interpolate here the folder path from above. We should have actually done the F string there. Sorry about that. I'm going to do the F string. Okay. Right, we're going to do forward slash here, deny. then everyone. So that's quite self-explanatory that is. And the F flag there. Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay, should have done a single there. Okay, folder path. Slash deny everyone. Okay. Uh, 
that seems to be the Okay, that's sorted. It seems a little error there. Okay, so that looks like the correct format so far. Then we use os.system. What we've got to do is lock folder. Then we're going to print a message to the user telling the user that we've locked the folder. That's going to be print. We're going to format the string again. We're going to interpolate the folder path, which is up here. And we're going to give it a little message. Locked. Okay, so if I've done everything right there, it should uh, be okay. So we're going to start off here, we're going to call the first function which is lock unlock. That's the first function. Let's just save it. Run the program. Oh, it's going a little bit so I'm going to choose entry one. Okay, so successfully process process one file. Uh, let's just check that out, shall we? Okay. Uh, there we go. Continue. No. Close. Try to see if we can get in. No. There we go. You don't have permissions. Okay. Let's just uh, close that off there. Let's try it again. There we go. We still don't have uh, permissions. We're completely locked ourselves out of the folder so obviously the next one that we're going to do is we're going to unlock it so what we're going to do here in our little menu is going to be an else if else if entry is equal to 2 so that's going to be unlock we're going to print unlocking folder. Then we're going to create a new function called unlock folder. So we're going to create the new function down here, let's just uh, go down a little bit, it's called unlock folder, we're going to do that there. Right, so we're going to obviously create the folder path to the above, which is going to be this one, so I'm just going to copy and paste this one here. Copy, paste that into there. With the paste function gone it's down there, isn't it? Paste that into there. And then we're going to do this one above. Let's just copy and paste this. Copy, paste this into here. We're going to have to make a one or two changes here. Okay, so we've got lock folder. We want to call it uh, I'm going to call it unlock. I'm going to have to slightly name it different here. So I'm, not, I'm just going to call it folder one because I don't want to clash with this name up here. So I'm going to call it unlock folder one. So we've got the folder path here. Instead of deny, we're going to say grant here. So this is going to be grant everyone and then we do os.system so this is going to be os here dot system and then what we're going to do is we're going to put unlock folder one here 
and then we're going to print out the message telling the user that we've done that. So we're going to f-string it again. And this is going to be folder path. Here. And we're just going to tell the user unlock. Okay, so I'll just save that. Let's run it again. And let's go into it. Uh, so we're going to choose option two this time, which is going to be that unlocking folder. Successfully processed. Let's uh, have a look. And there we go. We're in the folder. We can see the uh, file there. So we've just unlocked it and uh, let's just finish it off here I'm just gonna do a simple else and then quit if somebody types anything else or chooses option 3 it's just gonna automatically quit so let's just run that and uh, let's just uh, make sure that, that is the case Enter 3 Enter. There we go. We've uh, exited the program. So there you go, folks. Bob's your uncle and Fanny is your auntie. I hope you enjoyed the program. And remember, if you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? There's a red and white button below. Just make sure you hit it. Give it one of those and turn on the bell notification. And I will catch you in another video. Bye-de-bye. -bye.